With us now is Professor George Einstein of the Einstein Institute at USAT. A pleasure and honor to have you back on the show, sir. Pleasure to meet you again. We live in such a changing world where technology is advancing and medical research is advancing. And of course, many of the things you've been doing for so many years are now coming into the forefront of worldwide interest. Tell our audience about some of the projects that you're most interested in at this time. It is extremely crucial moment in my research with my background, especially in biophotonics, application biophotonics in medicine, that today, when I have last week uh, four defense PhD dissertations and come to my attention, uh, MERS, when I treat MERSA, when I treat before HIV hepatitis C, in one and separate. Today, we are facing new threat to the world of MERS. And also, still, another could be new wave of anthrax. Very, very dangerous time. Uh, and that is, we are ready with my background to really defense MERS and anthrax because I closely to work with not only by myself but with other group in America uh, when we try to be, we build strong defense system in biological warfare. Today when we find out that MERS is another threat and no absolutely we don't have a lot of scientists do not have clue to treat MERS by uh, 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 drugs medicine my model of treatment and success of treatment is to use the triple so triple system matrix system to succeed treatment and that here on the uh, poster, you can see also that I apply for treat to treat HIV hepatitis C patient, apply the biophysical and biochemical and psychoimmune stimulation systems. Professor, behind you is this poster on integrated biophotonics. Explain what this is, please. Yes, uh, human nature has nature, biophysical, biochemical nature. That means biophysical is bioelectrical nature. Neurons uh, have bioelectrical nature, biomagnetic nature. And chemicals, all chemi chemical reactions have biochemical nature. And that's why the two elements are very important in the body, on, in the physiology of cell. As well, still is another part of psychoimmunostimulation. This is a third element of our body and that the, the manager of this system, psychoimmunostimulation, is brain. Let's dwell on that a little. Psychoimmune stimulation. Explain, please. Yes. Uh, our system, defense system, our body against infections, is by immune system. And the immune system, like I mentioned, need to communicate, need to be coherence, coherence of the nat natural uh, bioelectrical nature, chemical nature, and psychoimmunostimulation. stimulation. That means brain. Brain uh, has hundreds, millions neurons, and the neurons manage all our system, cell system. We have average 30 trillion cells. And right now, the manager of the 30 trillion cells, all the organs, is brain. And that, many times, doctors not ask, how, how is your life? How is your lifestyle? How is your family? This affects the brain and affects all the immune system. Sir, how is your model implemented 
in medical practice? I give you an example. HIV, hepatitis C. It's unusual that patient has two infections overlap in the body. Conventional medicine has great problem to treat at the same time to overlap disease, infections, HIV, hepatitis C. Because if they apply cocktail hepatitis, HIV, that not in, this not able to manage hepatitis C interferon. And that is create chaos. My method by application the three elements, biophysical, biochemical, and psychomestulation, I am the winner. And I have patients, patients who I monitor by 10 years with my medical doctor, a hematologist. And he is, was drugless by conventional medicine by 10 years. I treated him in 2001 and we checked him 2011 and he was still first five years and immunologist was so uh, and a hematologist was so excited he couldn't believe it in the beginning that it could be treated this way uh, this biophotonics and uh, he monitored him another five years that is Dr. Echavarria and he when I met him last uh, year he gave me the report that he reported uh, 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 monitor him in another ten, five years. Tell us more about the biophysical. The biophysical uh, uh, therapy has different approach, different nature. First, I use quantum photonic energy, photons energy, inject photons energy to the blood and without the blood, next irradiate the blood by quantum photonic energy, but it is need to be calculated. This is um, need to be done in vitro and in vivo. And next, reinject to the body. And I create a vaccine effect. That's why we are not succeed a uh, treatment, and we don't have a vaccine for infections, for uh, HIV, hepatitis C. Up to date, since uh, Dr. Gallo, who I personally met him, since 82, I, in this case, create, I stimulate the immune system and I create a chain reaction in the body. This is a complicated process, but it works very well and has just physics, biophysics nature. Because, like I said, human body, human cell has biophysical and biochemical. Tell us about the biochemical. Very interesting question. Thank you for the question. Uh, usually, chemists ignore, say, photons as, as by product, by their the, giving the drug. I, as physicist, say, no, photons stimulate the all the reactions, boosting reactions, and that why you succeed. If HIV virus and patient has HIV, he need to take the uh, cocktail all his life to the rest. I can lower lowering the viral load to undetectable seven to ten treatment. HIV easier to treat uh, than uh, hepatitis C. Why would it be easier to treat HIV rather than hepatitis? Extremely important question. Hepatitis C virus. HIV virus is not, cannot leave it, leave it out of the body, human body. Well, in 2001, when I started my serious research on my Einstein metrics and create apparatus for the therapy, the virus HIV die when they is leaving out of the body. Hepatitis C on those time, 2010, was survived out of the body 24 hours. Today, 14 years later, the virus survived 72 hours out of the body. You can see 
And that's why viruses, bacteria are mutates and are stronger and stronger. And that's why when it is coming epidemics, we are not able to treat by drugs. It's, it's panic. A birth flu, what was that? We treated by cocktail of HIV. Right now, coming MERS. This is a new threat that just manifested itself recently. Tell us a little bit about what MERS is, why it's so dangerous. I have last week defense uh, of one of our students and uh, just uh, of uh, anthrax, what I mentioned. Uh, and MERS is another virus infectious, worse, or, or worse than, uh, uh, let's see, direct treat, uh, threatening a uh, virus infections. In really, they come from, uh, uh, from combination, from camel, but is certain combination of anthrax, camels, uh, were around when it was store, stored uh, anthrax. And camel was around in this area. Because by thousand years we didn't have problem. That this human created the problem. And that is the, uh, let's see, uh, invest we investigate right now the situation. Your very acclaimed approach and your research is of great interest to many people. To what extent is your research being implemented at the present time? It can be implemented any time and is implemented. I make the research out of the United States. I publish journals in, 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 uh, in journals in Europe. In, in, uh, uh, right now, in America, uh, it's possible to implement in any time. However, uh, in the b rush world, busy world, people, all people believe in drugs. And they easy for them to use drug for life than come to laboratory each other day and be treated. Uh, that is the problem, uh, let's see, uh, it is conflict between a pharmaceutical company and a pharmaceutical company try to treat, uh, try to find a solution, easier way, vaccine, they try to find vaccine for so many years. I am not, let's see, ally, uh, uh, um, I don't want to work with pharmaceutical company because they are not interesting in treatment, seven, 14 treatment, uh, seven treatment in 14 days. This is not the, their business. Economically, uh, they are not interesting. So implementation is sometimes for uh, doctors who are involved in integrated medicine. Doctors who are uh, treat, uh, uh, charge the insurance, they prefer different way, quicker. Sometimes people believe that better to use drug, they're more convenient, they work, uh, than spend uh, in line. Uh, well, treatment, simple, treatment is approximately 40 minutes each other day. Well, dialysis also takes time and people have no choice so they do that, but I do understand your point that uh, pharmaceutical companies prefer, uh, and maybe many doctors do as well, treatments that are as convenient as dispensing pills rather than a, a detailed program of a treatment. Right. And medicine, I believe right now, when I was working overseas also in Thailand uh, on my research, that uh, they, uh, more lot of Arabs from Saudi Arabia uh, uh, patients coming to Thailand and they are more interested in integrated medicine than in Western only medicine, because uh, Thailand uh, tried to combine Western and uh, uh, Far East medicine, because they believe that uh, the, our medicine, Western medicine, is very important 
in treatment severe disease. It's sensible for people to be open-minded to taking the best of both worlds. I'd like to ask you before we conclude, we are running out of time, I'm afraid. My question to you is your plans for the future. You're with USAT, you have the Einstein Institute. What are your plans for the future? Very good question. Because I want to implement to America, because a lot of people right now turn to integrated medicine instead only using the pills. And my plan is to educate more physicians by our parallel program, MD and PhD. And because I want that they, a PhD, they are addicted to research, not only to be middlemen between pharmaceutical company and, uh, and uh, patients. So this approach, when we, the medical, uh, a medical, a medical doctor is, has also a PhD degree, that he has different vision of his work. Very interesting. I want to thank you very, very much, Professor Einstein. A real pleasure to have you with us again. And we have to do this again in the future and pick up where we left off. Thank you, sir. I'll be right back. Thank you very much.